Hello class, this is our second installment of our very brief lecture series. Today I am uh, on a balcony on the Adriatic coast. This is the little town of Broke to Mare. And uh, seeing all the fairly white people spending days and days in the sun, turning their whiteness to something more burnt, uh, gave me an idea of talking a little bit about representations of whiteness, um, uh, starting here today uh, with Huck Finn, and I'll have some more to say about Finn uh, in my second installment here. Thinking about whiteness and Finn, what I think is really important is that Twain is one of the first American writers to make whiteness something that's visible, something that's described, something that's contemplated. Uh, Paps whiteness, obviously, that fish belly white. There's something, there's something to see there. Uh, usually whiteness is neutral. There's nothing to see. Blackness is the other. Uh, what I see in Huck Finn in terms of blackness is Jim's blackness is almost never remarked upon. His hair, his skin color, anything. Uh, it is, Jim is a friend. He's a man, but he's also a slave. And it's his slave status that marks him rather than his blackness. And when Huck and Jim are naked on the raft, as they often are, I don't see that as a real nakedness as much as it is when they're on the river, they are free from racial identities. And as soon as they're back on land, those racial identities are reestablished. Um, so I want to think about that. Um, whiteness is a thing to make you sick, as the thing that civilization, with a capital S, is inscribed by, and it's the thing that does result in certain kinds of pathological, uh, psychopathic even, behaviors. Um, so as we move to Finn uh, here in just a sec, uh, we'll kind of think about that. And uh, there's going to be a keyword, a password, for these videos. So that I know you've seen them, and you'll write them down on a quiz at some point. And the password for this one is Adriatic. All right. Thank you.